Bass House. And the teacher. Great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Wilmer Bonarama. <laughs> we were just chatting right now, and uh, he just jumped back into character as fast for the Netflix yeah. spin off that 90s show. The 90s show is doing great. Please welcome Wilmer back to our hey. studio. Hey. You know, I was really looking forward to coming here because I, I love you both so much. You know how I feel about you guys. I mean, I, endless conversations uh, on uh, you know on camera together. So I'm happy to be here with you. All these years. Well, a lot has this. changed, my man. We were talking yeah. about your little girl, which we'll get to uh, yeah. in, in a second. But what was it like um, slipping back into that role? It was unusually uh, emotional. That's what I've been describing it. I, you, I didn't know how I <laughs> look at that. Uh, whatever that thing is. It's a good look. You know? <laughs> but, but you know, it's, it's interesting. Um, it, it all seemed like a good idea, and then I show up to set, um, and, you know, I'm doing the word you're fitting. It's the same word to the department, and then the writer meeting. It's the same writers and same creators and all stuff, and it's just like things are just eerie and weird. And then, um, you know, then Topher says, I want to show you something, and he walks me over and doesn't tell me what he's going to show me. And then I walk through the back, and I enter um, the basement. And... I, I kid you not, it felt like I was that 18-year-old, 17-year-old wow. kid again. Yeah. It just, it was so perfectly replicated again. Um, and it, it, all these emotions came from a journey that we had all taken together and all that. And then it was like, okay, now I got to do the voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to help her. You know, and the other question was like, oh, where, where, where is his accent at this point? And I was like... It's the, the same, same accent. Like, that would have been funny if you would have came out all elevated. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a choice. With a British accent or something. I kid you not. Like, that was, I, we really? had three choices. Oh, I was like, funny. maybe I'll do a British accent just to be weird. That'd and be then, funny. And then, you know, or, or a perfect American yeah, accent, right, right. you know. But I thought, you know, people want to hear that voice again. We That's do great. want to hear that voice. Where did it originally come from? The, the voice was uh, such an interesting thing. I had auditioned for the show. And they gave me, they had given me the note, just have a little bit more fun with the character, you know? So that night I was like, oh, more fun. I thought it was like, change it. So I was playing around with my uh, younger little sister at the time, uh, Stephanie. And um, I made this, um, this high-pitched voice and she kept laughing. And then I was like, oh, wait, maybe I marry that with something else. And then I was like, okay, what FES stands for foreign exchange student. And I was like, well, maybe they don't know where he's from. Uh, maybe I'll just combine accents from different countries. And that gives you an accent you can't even the phrase even where know. he's from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Color and by uh, and I, so I gave him the lisp and I gave him <laughs> the, the double R's and I gave him the hard expressions and like the, the accents in different places of the sentences where it doesn't belong. <laughs> doesn't belong. <laughs> And then I went back in addition for it and, and there was like a moment of silence and I was like, I really screwed this up. I, like I made such a crazy uh, choice and... Um, you know, they, they said uh, nobody had ever done something like that. And uh, they just, I went straight to network and they gave me the job. But and they're like, now you're going to do goes. this voice over, over and, and over, over and over and, over and do it again. Yeah, no, it's crazy because at one point I thought it was going to stick. I was like, wow, this is, not, this is bad news bears for me. You know? So that's why in 2006, when we finished the show, I, I was like, I will never do the accent again, <laughs> right? And because I really felt like I needed to now grow up. I needed to play other stuff, you know. But yeah, that's how it worked out. Has yeah. it ever crept well, in a different role? Like in say, I asked you, you ever just go high pitched and like control and <laughs> start with the accent? That'd be a trip. You it's yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work. So cut to now. Um, you have a little girl about to turn two years old. Yeah. Man, that's quick. Two years old. Wait, are, look it, at her little oh, outfit. It's the, it's the best, huh? It is the best. And I, I was ex describing it to you earlier. Um, you know, and they warn you. They're like, oh, it's going to change everything. But I really, truly think it just evolves everything. It takes you to a whole different chapter of your life. And uh, and there's something in us, specifically with, with, with dads, with papas. You know, you something uploads in you. As soon as you hold your child, that wasn't that you weren't aware was there before. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you you hold your child, you go, "Wow, I I, I will and and most likely will do anything to protect her." You know, yeah, changes and everything. It's, it changes everything. You know, mm -hmm. so um, and just life is so much more fun. And coming home is a whole different experience. And you got your mom next to you. Still. Is she still yeah. living next door? Your the mom oh, and mom. cooking and oh, my mom's not going anywhere. Uh, That's I, the greatest until I, until my daughter until my daughter goes to college, uh, she's gonna be that next is door. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's a beautiful well, thing about the Latin culture too. It's just like expected. I had like my nana, my yeah. nana's not everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Mario's everybody mother-in-law lives with him. Yeah. By the way, everybody takes a turn. Right? Yeah. Like my dad has a shift. Right. My yeah, mom right, has a exactly. shift. Everybody 
everybody built in baby It is yeah, beyond it is. beautiful. I'm so envious. I've got my I think that's the I've coolest got no shame. thing. I think yeah. if people are like, oh, I'm like, what do you mean? It's the best. <laughs> so good. Um, tell us about the work with the National Hispanic Media Coalition. Well, as you know, this organization has done incredible work at, uh, at you know creating a level of accountability and communication with studios and media all the like, just to try to really figure out um, you know what is the signal and, and what do we feel like and look like when we're on screen. Um, now, this alliance that has been put together is an exciting one, uh, which, by the way, um, we, we need you in the alliance, uh, Mario. The, um, the, they, this, is a, this is for the first time ever a coalition of individuals that um, have a unique uh, experience and have unique skills, but most importantly, access and resources to, to mentor um, and to generate conversations that studios necessarily can't really have when it comes to content and how do we build and how do we create things. So the idea is that we, we have an effortless, united uh, collaboration uh, with studios and artists who tell stories um, about the, not just the critical need, but, uh, but the urgency of telling these stories um, immediately. Um, and really talking about um, all people of color, by the way, and with our Latino community, so much has been undone. So much of our contribution has been deleted from the books of, of history. Um, it's important that we retell our story again so it doesn't get untold again. Um, you, we just man. talking with John Leguizamo about this. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. We're having these same conversations about the history yeah. of it. Yeah. So, so, so the mission is is very clear. You know, is is all of us realizing that we all have a, a contribution to this conversation, and that we all have to really show up because it's not just. Uh, you know, I'm going to get a job and my face on screen is going to be representation if I can actually be a producer as well, because, you know, as you know, we all have our production companies and we develop and produce. Um, it's really what is that agenda, what is that mandate, and how do we actually create a, a, a conversation that students and networks feel bold enough to try embedding, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like, make it better. It's just like, we can show you a path in which... Um, you know it's not only fruitful, but you are inviting in a generation and an audience and a culture that's incredibly loyal to, to entertainment and who is the biggest consumer. Absolutely. Fastest growing demographic, too. Yeah. Don't want to be underrepresented. Good for you, man. Great to see you. Yes, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Can't wait to hug that family. baby. For more yeah. about the National Hispanic Media Coalition, check out its website. And that 90 show, of course, streaming on Netflix. Binge away. Well, coming up, she is a star of Fantasy Island. Rosalind Sanchez is here. Coming up next.